All right, so I'm going to show you real quick how to uh, graph a trig function in my math lab. So it wants us to sketch at least one cycle. We've got y equals the sine of 3 times x plus pi over 3, and we want to graph it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is click on to enlarge the graph. Now I'm not really going to go over on go over how to uh, how to find the period and amplitude and all that stuff. Um, this is just mainly for uh, to show you how to graph in my math lab. Uh, but you know, just real quick, when you look at this, you've got sine. Well, you can see this is the this is going to be the shape of the sine function, and this is the shape of the cosine. Well, we've got sine here, so we'll click on this one because that's the shape we need, and then we'll click on the graph and it throws it in there. And then it puts this in here where we've got to fill out amplitude, period, vertical shift, and horizontal shift. Well, the amplitude you get from the number in front of your trig function. And you can see there's not a number, so it's understood to be a 1. So the amplitude would be 1. Okay. If that was a 2, the amplitude would be 2. If the amplitude was, say, negative 2. I'm, I'm sorry, say if the number in front of sine would be negative 2, the amplitude would still be 2. Okay. All right, now the period, well, remember the period is 2 pi over b. Well, here's b is 3. So our period is 2 pi over b, which is 3. So our period would be 2 pi over b. So we've got the 2 pi there, and then when we hit divide it, you hit the division symbol on your keyboard, the forward slash and it automatically changes it to a fraction and we would just put three. All right. Now for the vertical shift and you can see it throws the throws a graph in there and kind of it modifies it. And then they want the vertical shift. Well, there's no vertical shift here because we would have something out here like plus 2 or minus 1 or something like that. Okay, it would be something outside of these brackets added or subtracted and that causes the graph to shift up or down. So that's zero. So we'll leave it as zero. And then we're, we're looking for a horizontal shift or your phase shift. Well, you see how they, they have this already factored out. Okay, normally your, uh, your phase shift, you know, you've probably seen uh, You've seen formulas where the phase shift is negative c over b. Well, this is your c, this is b, but this is really not, um, this does not really pertain to that formula. If it did, this 3 would be distributed. In other words, instead of written like this, it would say 3x plus pi if we distributed the 3. And then you could do the negative c over b. But what they've done is this 3 is factored out, okay? And so this right here, this pi over 3, when the 3 is factored out like this, this is your phase shift, okay? So that would just be negative pi over 3. You've got to use the opposite sign, so that would be negative, and then you would type pi, and it automatically changes it to the pi symbol and then you just hit the forward slash on your keyboard that changes it to a fraction and you hit three okay and that's that's it right there let me move this up so I can save it and assuming I did everything right in my head this should be correct unless I made some mistake and we'll see alright and then let's move this on up so we can check our answer and we hit check answer and fantastic we got it right and so that's how you graph the trig function and or sine and cosine's the same way all right so hope the video helped 
Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.